Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe directing groups in the reactions of benzene compounds. And this is for the OCR spec. In a previous video we compared the bromination of benzene with the bromination of an alkene such as cyclohexene. Remember that compared to alkenes, benzene is relatively resistant to bromination. Cyclohexene reacts rapidly with bromine under normal conditions. That's because the electron density in the double bond is sufficient to induce a dipole in the bromine molecule. However, benzene will only react with bromine in the presence of a halogen carrier catalyst such as iron bromide. As we've seen, the pi electrons in benzene are delocalized across all six carbon atoms. This means that the electron density between any two adjacent carbon atoms is not sufficient to induce a dipole in the bromine molecule. So because of this, bromination of benzene can only take place with a halogen carrier. OK, I'm showing you here the bromination of phenol, and we looked at this reaction in the last video. In phenol, a lone pair of electrons in a p orbital on the oxygen atom is donated into the delocalized electron structure of the benzene ring. This increases the electron density in the benzene ring. And because of this increased electron density, the benzene ring in phenol can induce a dipole in bromine. This means that phenol reacts readily with bromine without the need for a halogen carrier. Scientists say that the OH group in phenol is an activating group. By donating electrons into the benzene ring, the OH group increases the reactivity of phenol. We see the same effect with the amine group in phenylamine. In this case, the nitrogen atom donates a pair of electrons into the benzene ring. So the amine group activates the molecule. And this means that phenylamine reacts readily with bromine in the absence of a halogen carrier. So electron donating groups, such as the hydroxyl group and amine group, activate the benzene ring. Now you'll notice that in both of these reactions, the bromine atoms substitute onto positions 2, 4 and 6. And that brings us to a key idea that you need to learn. Electron donating groups, such as the OH or NH2 groups, direct towards carbons 2 and 4 on the benzene ring. And in the case of symmetrical molecules such as phenol or phenylamine, we can consider carbon 6 as equivalent to carbon 2. So as well as activating the benzene ring, electron donating groups also direct substitution to carbons 2 and 4. In contrast, some groups are electron withdrawing. I'm showing an example here. The nitro group in nitrobenzene withdraws electrons from the benzene ring. This reduces the reactivity of the molecule. For example, nitrobenzene will only react with bromine in the presence of a halogen carrier and at a high temperature. Now electron withdrawing groups also direct the position of substitution. In the case of electron withdrawing groups, substitution is directed towards carbon 3. OK, I just want to mention a couple of points before we finish. Firstly, we need to consider the effects of directing groups when synthesizing an organic molecule. Depending on where we want the groups to substitute, we may have to carry out our reactions in a certain order. Secondly, the OCR spec only requires you to know the effects of the OH group, the NH2 group and the NO2 group. If your exam refers to any other groups, then you'll be provided with information in the question. And lastly, you may have seen references to ortho, meta and para positions. These are not on the spec. However, in case you are interested in this, I'm showing you them here. OK, so hopefully now you can describe directing groups in the reactions of benzene compounds.